So in this segment, we're going to be talking about uh, Boris Johnson saying we must also clap for the bankers who make our NHS possible. So Boris Johnson urged um, the public to clap for bankers as he appeared to rule out tax hikes on the rich to uh, pay for the economic crash sparked by coronavirus, seeking to calm conservatives. Um, conservatives fears about uh, an infrastructure splurge the prime minister insisted he was committed to free market enterprise i am not a communist mr johnson promised adding yes of course we clap for our nhs but under this government we also clap for those who make the uh who make our nhs possible our innovators i'm not going to go through all of this but you know speaking the west midlands he promised a bonfire planning uh bonfire on planning rules to spark more house um more house building, Ms. Johnson also hinted the rich were safe from future tax increase. So the question you've got to ask yourself is, where is all the money going to come from for all of these infrastructure projects? Because if it's not coming from the rich, that means it's going to be uh, borrowed money, but who's going to have to pay it back? Middle class and working class people, I'm afraid. So on launching some uh, some punitive raid on the wealth creators, I don't believe in tearing people down uh, any more than I believe in tearing down statues that are a part of our heritage. So he's feeding into the culture war as well, um, linking the two together, you know, heritage and um, not taxing the rich, I guess, which are too linked um, in the British way. Oh, stupid ads. Um, in Dudley, Mr. Johnson insisted his strategy was for jobs, 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 but could not put a number down on how many posts his uh, plan will create. And so... The issue, the issue with this is, a banks have screwed over small businesses by um, not giving them loans when they needed it. Um, you know, during Sunak's first uh, business bailout scheme, where he wanted the banks to take twenty percent of the um, liabilities. So, you know, should we have clapped for them then, Boris? Should we have clapped for them in two thousand seven, two thousand eight, when they crashed the economy, Boris? Should we have clapped for them in the nineteen twenties when they helped create the Great Depression, Boris? Should we have uh, clapped for them? Uh, when they um, do massive amounts of uh, tax avoidance, when the HME, HMRC says it still has concerns over behaviour of a small number of banks, HM Revenue and Customs has warned British uh, Britain's banks against pursuing aggressive strategies that push boundaries of acceptable tax planning after recovering 85 million from lenders in the year to April. So this is from uh, 2017. So is that should we clap for them, Boris? Here you go. I'll clap. Please clap. So yeah, what a joker. And so what this what this means is he's going to not not tax rich people in order to help pay and um, in order to uh, um, help us pay for all the spending he's going to do. Uh, so that money's going to have to come from somewhere. And that means more possibly more austerity. And I know Boris said, I don't like, you know, it's not going to be more austerity, but there will be more budget cuts guaranteed. There will be austerity, but they won't use that word. They say, no, it's not austerity. It's just uh, budget cuts, bro. That's what will happen. And so, look, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.